Now, uh, before we go into the actual uh, problem solving, couple of points. We define a node or principal node actually where three or more branches meet. So in this diagram you can see here one branch, two branch and three branch meeting. So this is a node. Similarly, here three branches are meeting. So this is a principal node or essential node. We just call it a node. Now, uh, what are the steps that we uh, follow? First of all, we find all the nodes. So in this case, we have three nodes, one, two, and three. Then we put one of the nodes as a ground node. Generally, the one at the bottom is taken. So we have taken this as a ground node. And the other two nodes are named as V1 and V2 voltages here. Node 1 and node 2, they have the voltages V1 and V2. Now that we have defined uh, the two nodes, V1 and V2, we'll draw currents at these two nodes. We can take any arbitrary direction in this case, I have taken the currents all going out and in the second node, since this current is coming in, so this is taken as current in and the other two also going out. Now we'll see in the next slide that this direction is immaterial. You can select any current direction. So at node uh, 1, now we'll write the KCL equation. Current entering is zero and current leaving sum of all three. So I1 leaving, I2 leaving plus I3 leaving. So this is how we write the KCL equation at node number one. Now for ease we can uh, just change the side. We bring all this on the left hand side and zero on the right hand side. And at node 2, now you can see that one current is entering and two currents are leaving. So I2 is entering and I4 and I5 leaving. So now our KCL equation becomes I2 is equal to I4 plus I5. Now after we have written the two KCL equations, we'll convert them in terms of a voltage. So now I1, this is our I1, it is going from 0 to V1, sorry, 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 it is coming from V1 to 0. So our equation will be V1 minus 0 and now we will have to take care of the battery, so the battery current this one is in opposition to our main current and so the battery will be written as negative 100 and we will divide by the resistance so divided by the resistance. Coming on to I2, I2 is going from V1 to V2 so we will write V1 minus V2 and there is a resistance of 10 ohm so we will divide by 10 ohm resistance. Now the third current I3 is coming from V1 and going to 0. So we will write V1 minus 0 and divided by the resistance of 30. So this becomes our voltage equation or equation in terms of voltage and equal to 0. Same way we will write the voltage equation for node 2. And here now you can see I2, again the same I2 which was coming from V1 to V2. So I2 is V1 minus V2 divided by the 10 ohm resistance. I4, this is I4, it is coming from V2 to 0. So V2 minus 0 and divided by 20 ohm resistance. So divided by 20 ohm resistance plus for I5, 
I5 is again coming from V2 to 0. So V2 minus 0 divided by 10 ohm resistance. So this is uh, the two, these are the two equations so in terms of voltage and by solving these two equations we can find the value of V1 and V2. Now some students have confusion as to how to draw the currents and how to write equations so I'll explain all four possibilities. We already seen this possibility where all three currents were going out and we wrote the equation uh, in terms of voltage also. Now the other possibility could be that one current I2 is coming in, uh, I1 is coming in and I2 and I3 going out. So in this case now entering is I1 and leaving I1 plus I2. So what will be the equation for I1? I1 is now going from 0 to V1. So 0 minus V1. Now we have to see the current direction of the battery. It is in the same direction. Our current direct, main current direction is from 0 to going like this. And the battery positive is also going in the same direction. So the battery voltage will be added. So it will be plus 100 and divided by the resistance in the circuit. The other two same that we did earlier. So it is V1 minus V2 divided by 10. So V1 minus V2 divided by 10. And I3 is V1 minus 0 divided by 30. Now let's do an example. In this example we have to find V1. No current direction is given so you have to take your own current direction, draw your own current direction. I have drawn it all outgoing in this case. So the KCL equation will be all three outgoing equal to zero incoming. And now we write in terms of voltage. So I1 is now coming from V1 and going to 0. So V1 minus 0 and the battery current is in opposition to our main current. So the battery voltage will be written as negative 10 and divided by 10 ohm resistance. So divided by 10. I2 is going from now this has been taken as I2. So it is going from V1 to 0. So V1 minus 0 and divided by the resistance. I3, this is I3. So again I3 is going from V1 to 0. So V1 minus 0. What about this battery? This battery is in opposition to the main current, the battery current is in opposition to the main current so the battery voltage in this case also will be negative 20 and divided by 20. And <coughs> how to solve this further? You can see that the LCM is 40. So the easiest way is to multiply uh, by 40. Well, we eliminate the zeros. There is no need of writing zeros. This was just to give an understanding. So now the simplified form will be V1 minus 10 divided by 10, V1 divided by 40, and V1 minus 20 divided by 20. So now we talk of the LCM. LCM is 40 in this case. So what we'll do is we'll multiply all the numerators with 40. So multiply by 40, multiply by 40, multiply by 40, and 0 multiply by 40 also. And now you, you can simplify, you can just cut uh, ten and forty, so this will be four. You can cut forty and forty, so it will be just one, and you can cut twenty and forty, so you'll get two. And so this becomes uh, the new equation for the simplification.
will result uh, into this. Just open up 4v1 minus 40 v1 2 into v1 and minus 2 into 20 40 equals 0. And from here 7v1 is equal to 80 and therefore v1 is 80 over 7 or 11.42 volt. So this is the way of solving a nodal equation, a nodal circuit. Okay, let's solve another equation.